Space travel is dangerous. Rockets explode, things go wrong. But when your flight path suddenly reroutes because a billionaire spacecraft just went boom, that's a whole new level of chaos. SpaceX's Flight 8 launch didn't just fail, it forced airlines to scramble mid-air. So what happened? Is this just another setback or does it impose deeper problems with privatized space flight? Let's break it down. On March 6, 2025, SpaceX launched Flight 8 Eight, part of its ongoing Starship testing program. The goal? A routine test to push the boundaries of reusable rocket technology. Instead, the rocket suffered a rapid, unscheduled disassembly, which is Musk speak for, it exploded in a giant fireball. The blast forced airlines to reroute flights, causing delays and raising safety concerns. Now, we can't talk about SpaceX without mentioning the man behind the mission, Elon Musk. So how did this tech mogul become the face of modern space travel? Elon Musk, the guy behind Tesla X, formerly and always Twitter, and probably your weirdest AI conspiracy theories, founded SpaceX in 2002 with a mission to colonize Mars. In the early days, SpaceX struggled its first three launches ended in failure. But in 2008, Falcon 1 became the first privately developed rocket to reach orbit. Since then, SpaceX has revolutionized the industry with reusable rockets, landing boosters, and launching astronauts for NASA. But with rapid innovation comes risk, and the Flight 8 explosion isn't SpaceX's first major setback. This isn't SpaceX's first explosion, and it probably won't be the last. The company has a well-documented history of rapid, unscheduled disassemblies, which is just a fancy way of saying, oops, that blew up. In fact, early on, SpaceX's first three rocket launches all failed. Musk admitted that if the fourth Falcon 1 launch had also been a disaster, SpaceX would have gone bankrupt. Thankfully, it worked. Even more recently, the Starship test flight in 2023 ended in an explosion, though Musk called it a success anyway, because apparently blowing up just a little later than expected counts as progress. But this time, with Flight 8's explosion disrupting major airline routes, the stakes are different. Now, it's not just a SpaceX problem, it's affecting the entire aviation industry. The immediate concern, flight disruptions. Airlines had to reroute multiple flights due to the explosion, highlighting the risks of launching near populated air traffic routes. This raises questions about spaceflight regulations and oversight. Should private companies have more restrictions to prevent these incidents? Beyond airlines, the explosion also affected SpaceX's timeline for future launches. Investors and partners are watching closely. If SpaceX can't maintain safety, its dominance in the space industry could be at risk. So, how big of a deal was this for airlines? Turns out, huge. The explosion created a debris field that forced airlines to reroute flights mid air. Pilots and control towers scrambled to adjust flight paths, leading to delays, extra fuel consumption, and plenty of unhappy passengers who just wanted their complimentary peanuts and legroom, or what's left of it. Historically, aviation disruptions from spaceflight aren't unheard of, but they are rare. NASA missions have occasionally impacted airspace, but those were carefully coordinated. In contrast, SpaceX's growing number of launches means the risk of space debris affecting commercial aviation is rising. And let's be honest, the last thing the airline industry needs is more reasons for delays. NASA has had its share of disasters. The Challenger and Columbia shuttle explosions were tragic examples of what happens when safety protocols fail. However, NASA's budget and oversight mean that every mission undergoes meticulous safety checks. The same can't always be said for private companies, where the pressure to innovate quickly sometimes outweighs caution. Take Boeing's Starliner, which faced years of delays due to safety concerns. Meanwhile, SpaceX has rapidly launched and occasionally exploded several Starship prototypes. While speed is great for progress, it also raises the question, are private space companies cutting corners in ways that could endanger lives? This explosion and the airline disruptions that followed highlight why some level of regulation is necessary. Space isn't just for billionaires with big ideas. It's becoming a shared space where mistakes have real world consequences. Space used to be a government run frontier. Now, 
Billionaires like Musk, Jeff Bezos of Blue Origin, and Richard Branson of Virgin Galactic are leading the charge. But unlike NASA, which has strict regulations and oversight, private space companies operate with more flexibility, which sounds cool until rockets start exploding. The question is, are we prioritizing innovation over safety? When profit-driven companies control space travel, how do we ensure safety isn't sacrificed for speed? History shows us that corporate-driven industries often cut corners. Will space travel be next? So, what's next for SpaceX? Elon Musk will likely brush this off as another learning experience, and SpaceX engineers will go back to the drawing board. The FAA might step in with stricter regulations, especially if airline industry pressure grows. Historically, major space disasters have led to significant changes. After the Challenger explosion, NASA redesigned the entire shuttle program. After Columbia, safety protocols were overhauled. Will this explosion push SpaceX toward better safeguards? Or will Elon Musk continue his move fast, break things philosophy? That remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure. The next launch will have a lot more eyes on it. SpaceX's explosion is just the latest reminder that space travel is risky, especially when private companies are leading the way. So, should we trust billionaires with our interstellar future, or should space exploration stay in government hands? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you'll never miss a current event and how it relates to history. I'll see you next time on Hurried History.